to not only the 4th of July, welcome to U.S. citizenship. And I promise you this will be a day you will not forget. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. I'm from Mexico, from Zacatecas, Mexico, originally, and uh, I have been living here in Massachusetts since 2009. I saw these papers about the immigration, you want to change your status, and I have been living in this country for like just so long, and I just thought it was important for me and also for my family to become a citizen. So I came upstairs and I asked some questions. I found Maureen, which is a great woman. She helped me so much. She pretty much um, and she walked me through the whole process. Every person has their individual story and how they got here, and why they've decided to become a citizen, what their hopes are once they've become a citizen. They're all great stories. Welcome. We are so honored to organize this naturalization ceremony for you, our newest citizens, and for our community. Center for New Americans, I think the main thing that we add to the community is a welcome that immigrants don't always feel, um, especially low-income people, uh, people of color, are not always, uh, they don't always feel that people are happy to have them here. And People know that if they come here, no matter what their background, no matter where they're from, what they're doing, we're happy to have them here. We will make them feel like they're members of the community as much as anyone else, that they can trust us, they know that they can tell us whatever is going on, and we will provide whatever support and help is possible. I didn't feel like I fit in the whole community before, but then like since I started doing the process of becoming a citizen after so many years, I thought like I may now have a chance to really feel part of the community by doing my citizenship. It was the right time for me to become a citizen, and also because elections are coming, you know, I got a vote. Don't forget the League of Women Voters and <laughs> registering to vote. Um, I can think of no more important year that you should exercise that right uh, than this year. Congratulations. I watch the news every day, so I just feel like it is important not only for uh, immigrants but for everybody in the community to be part of, um, you know, like this process is such a big election coming up in November and I feel like I really wanted to be part of it. <laughs> Certainly I can think of no better way uh, to spend Independence Day and the 4th of July. I also want to thank our friends from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, obviously Center for New Americans, who do so much great work uh, throughout the year. Having our ceremony outside on the corner, Main Street, right downtown, where everyone can see people being sworn in, is such a public statement of the value that we have for the new citizens coming in and what they can provide. The process may seem daunting to people, but we are here to help people. There are other organizations who are here to pe help people. If there is some people out there who are thinking about becoming a citizens and who want to be part of the community, come to this building, they are so helpful. Um, you know, Center for New Americans is a great place for everybody who wants to become a citizen or just want to learn English. There is so many options here for everybody and I feel like sometimes we're scared to ask for help. Don't be.